conference. One of the main speakers, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. He began by contradicting a thesis put forward the day before by German President Frank Walter Steinmeier. Collectively winning. That the United States rejects the international community. End of quote. I'm here this morning to tell you the facts. I'm happy to report that the death of the Transatlantic Alliance is grossly over-exaggerated. That may be, but the morning's other main speaker was not so sure. French President Emmanuel Macron said Europe must become more independent of the U.S. If we have no freedom to act, then we have no credibility in foreign policy, and we can't be a junior partner to the United States of America. Macron and Pompeo also disagreed over one of the main themes of this year's conference, that the West is losing global influence. When I look at the world as it's being shaped, and that's the theme of your conference this year, there is indeed a weakening of the West. This idea of Westlessness as the core theme for this year's conference. And I'm sure, too, there are many of you who would call yourself here realists. Well, let me give you an idea of what's real. The West is winning. Fifteen years ago, we thought that our values were universal, that we were going to dominate the world in the long term, that we were dominant in terms of technology, military, and so on. And then I look at the horizon of 10 to 15 years. We are going to be increasingly pushed by other agendas and other values. The free West has a far brighter future than illiberal alternatives. We're winning, and we're doing it together. It was left to NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg to try and smooth over the continuing transatlantic tensions. Europe and North America are indispensable partners, two sides of the same coin. So when we stand together, we can compete with confidence, protect our interests and defend our values. Thank you.